So you guys, thanks so much again. Uh, actually, guys, it is actually my birthday today. Uh, being in recognition to that of the uh, 20th of March 2015. Quite obviously, I was born. Uh, it's my 13th birthday. Um, I'm not going <laughs> getting into uh, too much detailed and very much obviously personal information here, but um, obviously. I did promise you on the previous video, which unfortunately for some reason got two dislikes uh, unreasonably. And by that of, well, I'd in adequate proximity say that of uh, my friends or people that I know from school, although obviously could uh, exceptionally and alternatively be haters on my channel, because obviously it's metal detecting, not everybody likes at this moment in time of my age, except for myself really. But uh, some of my friends, they really enjoy it, I mean, with me obviously. <coughs> I'll uh, give some shout outs in the future to, to themselves. But uh, yeah, we'll go over here with the 2014 variety. I'll go around some specifications, some unboxings, and additionally, I did get some uh, additional additional uh, accessories for my birthday, such as the P POV head, head mount, the chest mount, um, the, um, the uh, monopod that I got, that was obviously, says here, made in China, and uh, a car suction cup and uh, additional accessories as well. But, um, yeah, and obviously a uh, 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD uh, SanDisk Extreme Hard Drive, so, yeah, let's get it guys, here it is, here's the beauty itself, now I'm just going to do a slight alteration, the camera angleization which took me ages to master, there we are, that's particularly adequate there. Yep, that's it. That's adequate there. Uh, here we have it. Obviously, I'll do some uh, an in-depth review today, as it is my birthday. And uh, obviously, guys, I'm going on the club for some health taking club league tomorrow as well. So that'll be uh, an additional fact of uh, particularly good matter and fun. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and unbox this here. First, I'll go through some of the specifications. Obviously this was uh, in my obviously price range as it was my birthday and uh, I was going to go ahead and spend approximately £300 on the new 4K model of the um, GoPro Hero 4 uh, of the Black Edition or Silver Edition or even out of the GoPro Hero 3 because this ex is exceptionally similar to that of this and this is actually $129 US dollars in comparison to that of uh, an adequate um, conversion of that £100, which is very good indeed. Now, optional accessories, I do have them, including 60 plus mounts and accessories and counting. So, that, that in, and counting, it means that they're releasing new ones absolutely regularly. Uh, it says what's, what's included integrated camera housing, built in battery, skeleton back door, quick release buckle, flat adhesive mount, curved adhesive mount, and USB cable. Requires class uh, micro SD card sold separately, which I indeed I have got for my birthday. Um, it says just anchors up. Stunning video quality. Sorry, just the macro is not too good on this camera. Uh, the obviously the key feature is that of built-in micro SD. Sorry, just woke it up here. It's actually half seven. An integrated cabin housing design. And uh, unfortunately, I've got a bit of cold now, but um, yeah, uh, ultra wide angle glass lens supports micro SD cards up to 32 gigabytes, whereas the higher end, higher end models support that for 64 gigabytes, which obviously you won't even need barely 8 gig gigabytes unless you're recording hours of footage without time lapse. Weigh 210 grams, which is extremely light. The uh, GoPro have gone for some extremely technical difficulties here, in which they've obviously succeeded in the process. Extremely ergonomically developed and uh, well, very well made. Obviously, greatly manufactured. Withstands approximately uh, water proof that of 40 meters, 131 inches in a conversion. Rugged, durable construction. This will last me ages. Five megapixel mega photo capture. I won't really, really need much more than that. And stunning video quality. And uh, also, they have a GoPro uh, software. Your photos and videos easily create gorgeous GoPro-style videos to share on Facebook, YouTube, and more. So capture, create, share. They're good, uh, obviously, motto there. Uh, resolution, 1080p, 30 frames per second, 25 frames per second is optional. Uh, field of view. Uh, resolution, FPS, field of view. That's obviously the table of, um, table of the, uh, obviously the, um, 
the thing so but uh, 720p would be 60 frames per sec second or an optional 50 frames per second I don't know why you choose the optional 50 frames per second I'll choose the 60 and obviously I'm going to go for 1080p because it's the best recording quality and I won't, I won't be doing too much uh, sport action or um, obviously cinematography or that of um, uh, time lapsing really so ultra wide angle lens ultra wide angle or 720p super view which doesn't actually, believe it or not, decrease the frames, uh, frame rate for that of the 720p resolution, which is brilliant. Resolution is 5 megapixels, the burst is at 5 frames per second, the flat of 5 megapixels again. And the time lapse is 0 0.5 second intervals, which is very good indeed, because that's uh, a split second really, as you obviously do say, it's 0 0.5, uh, or obviously um, half a second, half a second, so captures the world's most immersive field of view and uh, automatically adjust frame rates for optimal low light performance so yeah guys uh, sorry about that <laughs> that was a uh, quite a lot but um yeah I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and box it here it's quite um substantial really it's just made out of cardboard it's extremely uh slim down the price but that's just gorgeous look at that it's just brilliant guys can't wait to get this open, get this baby open. Come on, <sighs> come on. I will actually get it unboxed eventually. <laughs> there are a few, not te te uh, technological difficulties, but um, that's of manual uh, difficulties in this case. But yep, this is going to take a while, guys, I'm afraid. But I'll get back to you guys. Right, right, I've box. actually finally come to my conclusion. I can actually unbox it now. <laughs> my dad tell me again. Uh, so it's taking me a while to do so. So um, yeah, that's particularly stuck, and I've not a clue why. So uh, really, that should be coming off here. Oh, I'm just gonna leave it on. <laughs> I'm not too uh, practical at stuff, but yep. Yeah. Get started with GoPro. It all begins with the camera, but there's so much more to capture and share in your life with GoPro. Go professional. Seems to be personal, capture your life with GoPro. Uh, some of your most epic photos and videos for the chance to become GoPro famous. Okay. Uh, watch the GoPro channel to get your fix or the latest GoPro videos from across the globe. Easily import, view and edit your content, create gorgeous GoPro style videos. Obviously the GoPro software that they've basically created, which I believe is quite a, uh, quite a feat in their company. Uh, update your camera, get the newest features and best performance from your GoPro by keeping up to date with the latest software, which is absolutely brilliant. You can actually uh, update it, like that of the XB Smile Detector, you can actually update it via uh, that sort of software on the internet, which is absolutely, uh, obviously, as it being uh, computer PC compatible, that makes it obviously more of a lot more of an um, advantage in that circumstance. And obviously, all the uh, other languages, I'm going to keep that there. And uh, the massive manual here. <laughs> Hero, download the user manual at gopro.com slash support. We won't need that. Obviously, they're particularly brilliant and I'd say not fascinating, but obviously memorable design there. GoPro, be a hero. Motto, be a hero. That's just outstanding, really, I have to say. Particularly ingenious idea. And probably won't need that. Not for now, but. And then obviously they come with the genuine GoPro stickers, which pretty much everyone needs, I guess. Obviously I can put that on my metal detector, I can put that on uh, my um, XP Home Expand, and put it on my dad's uh, Gold Max, uh, sorry, <laughs> my dad's uh, Garrett, Garrett AC50 quite obviously, and that would be particularly enjoyable. So I lost my voice a bit. And then obviously the important product safety information guide. So quite a long one as well, see the thickness of that. Don't believe I'll need that. If there's anything else. Yeah, there's other stuff down there, but I won't get that. First I'll go for the camera itself. Okay, that's the box off. <coughs> the camera itself, look at that. First ever GoPro. It's brilliant. <laughs> Looks brilliant really. Quicker, three, 360 degree dimensional review. The top here. It should actually come open. 
not too particularly sure. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> yeah, I've got a bit of cold. And we've obviously got the mounts here. Of that, uh, this um, white bit here is to clip on if you're doing some extreme, uh, extreme some extreme sports, and obviously the camera will not become loose whatsoever. Well, obviously. Uh, uh, <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> well, obviously it won't help it. Um, obviously it won't loosen anymore, and uh, the suction will cup with actually um, compress against it, and obviously it'll, it's a lot more of an advantage for this camera if you're doing some extreme sports, as it's uh, skiing, biking mountain biking and uh, so on <coughs> sorry about that obviously not metal detecting you probably won't need this at all <laughs> but um yep obviously get you get the genuine USB cable which comes with every GoPro obviously you need to be compatible with that computer otherwise the camera's not up, up to date really in this technological and particularly modern world and as of £100 it's absolutely brilliant really and we get the skeleton back door. Now this is uh, an additional one, as you can see, it already has one on there. But obviously this is for um, an additional complexity. Uh, well, what's good about this actually is that um, uh, you can actually hear the audio uh, through the uh, via the input throughout the back of the casing rather than that at the front. Or it obviously you can hear it less in this. But um, well, say for example you're doing uh, biking, then obviously you're going to hear more of the um, more of the interference on here and less of the interference on this skeleton back door but um, yeah it's quite an advantage for that of if you like to do a lot of vlogging I'd obviously personally recommend this or advise this to anyone that was doing that in the circumstance of that of vlogging as I just said but uh, other than that if you're doing that then I'd rec that would be my recommendation for extreme sports and uh, biking and skiing and uh, <coughs> anything else in association with that for example so, yep, that's that. That's the whole box gone. And uh, obviously, I'll put the uh, manual back in there. Might need that futuristically. And I believe that's it, really. So, I'm just going to knock that off there. <laughs> and, uh, yep, here we are, guys. Uh, well, I'll do the optional accessories and I'll get back. You either just uh, swap batteries, obviously, because the, um, the previous ones just ran out. And so. I've got these uh, Duracell Plus Power batteries, which I'll be using. I doubt um, if I'll be able to use the additional ones here, obviously because they last quite a while, an hour or so, and uh, obviously I won't be recording for that long, but uh, uh, going into the in-depth review, um, I may need to use them. But, uh, well, additionally, actually, I'm going to have to change my About section of Detecting Water channel, because obviously uh, I've just got a new camera, haven't I, the GoPro Hero. So, uh, obviously, in that fact, I'm going to have to change the uh, optional accessory to that of, uh, well, equipment associated, that of the GoPro Hero, uh, the 2014 variety of the best entry level action cam you can actually buy. Other than that, of the SJ4000, which I was going to buy, but obviously the contraction and uh, the better look of this. Uh, no, I mean, obviously the contrast and uh, the sharpness and coloration of this of the um, imaging and uh, video video stabilisation is a lot better than that of the SJ4000 so I went for that although the just SJ4000 is slightly cheaper being that in the vicinity of 75 euros being that of uh, approximately 70 pounds uh, that's this is a hundred though unfortunately but uh, there's no unfortunacy because my dad was uh, prepared to buy that anyway but uh, yeah these optional accessories here comes with First of all, a case that it all comes in. I've taken the foam out of it, obviously, because it was a bit messed up and the packaging was a bit, um, a bit second graded, really. Not really first grade. Actually, I think I just did it up, but, uh, yeah, the foam's still in there. See, the foam's been a bit, uh, not really first first grade because it's like some sort of third grade or something no um no complaints of that for the, obviously the company because I'm not too particularly sure which company it came from uh, otherwise in that case I wouldn't really complain anyway if it were, well obviously I complain against the GoPro obviously if that were to be broken but it's obviously not so in that circumstance it doesn't really matter and uh, there's the sand disc I'll show you that later hey <coughs> and uh, here we are here's this this is the monopod in this nice casing which actually it's quite nice really quite nice feel to it 
can hold it on, going like that, and obviously doing some vlogs with it on my Detective Muscle channel. Uh, yeah, the additional components will actually remain in here because. And then this, I believe, is something I'm not too particularly sure, so I'm just going to leave that out. <laughs> this is. Let's see what this is. This video has been in for about 15 minutes, I'm sure. Yes, I believe that is of the. That's the head mount, I believe. Keep that over there on the side. Here, I believe, is the chest mount, seeing so it's the biggest package out of all of them. And people's chests are particularly large as well, rather than the head. So obviously, it's going to be big, bigger. Yeah, you can tell it's a chest mount, look how big that is. Alright, <laughs> let's keep that aside. It's about 8 o'clock now, <laughs> in the morning, it's not night, obviously. I was too eager to get up, so I just got up 7. I can't really complain against myself. I mean, I was absolutely forcibly, uh, obviously intended to get up at that time. Well, yeah, I intended to get up at that of the average 8 o'clock, but uh, I couldn't really help myself to get up at that of 7, because I guess no one can when it's their birthday, really. I guess that screw goes through here. I'm not too good at design technology, but I've got at least some slight experience because I'm a lot of level and being that of level 5 <laughs> oh, I'm not very good at all really at that I'm a lot better at maths and uh, English and so on but um, yes that's the optional accessories obviously the uh, the parts for the mount so I'm not going to show because obviously that's not of any interest to yourself uh, in the in-depth in review uh, in a, an additional video because this has been a while <laughs> then I'm actually going to do an additional um, an additional view of the how to put the mounts on and so on. That's in the in-depth review. But first, the unboxing and setup. I'm actually going to have to get this open. Actually, Guys, I'm I've actually just uh, opened the skeleton back door on the reverse and this on the top. I was actually worried uh, about uh, using force that it would actually break, but it actually automatically turned on. And as I've seen reviews on YouTube, this actually performs uh, obviously in the circumstance of. Um, CPUs and the speed of the uh, camera, camera booting up itself. This actually does a uh, probably a second quicker than that of the GoPro Hero 3 Plus ba Black Edition, which is particularly good. It says no S uh, no SD on here, 720p uh, super wide at 60 60 frames per second. Uh, it's got no battery life in it, obviously, but um, yep, it's in recording mode. Just go around here. It says I've got all the manualized instructions here. Okay, now it tells me to put the micro ST in, which I'll have to show you. Forgot all about that, <laughs> actually. Uh, sun disc here. I've actually already unboxed it. Yep, let's just. Uh, there it is, the good old SanDisk, 32 gigabytes extreme uh, hard drive for that of uh, micro SD for that of the GoPro Hero or any other GoPro micro SD adapter for that of the computer of my laptop which I'll use. Uh, free download for one year subscription to Rescue Pro Delu Deluxe Recovery Software. So you may get that depending on what mood I'm in. Sandisk, all the instruction manuals probably won't need that. I'll need this. I believe that's it there. Okay, we're just gonna carefully open this. Trying not to break. There we are, micro SD. Lovely little micro SD. <laughs> My use really. So, obviously, going to put this in. In such a circumstance, not to lose it. Alright, that's spring loaded in there. Obviously, and then I'm not too particularly sure what we have to do. That's the micro SD, I won't need that yet. And uh, then the instruction manual says to. Sorry, opposite way around. Then charge your battery using the included USB cable. That's what I'm going to do. Battery cannot be removed from the camera, unfortunately. Close and latch the back door. So, that's what I'm going to have to do next. So, in a bit.
so guys, it's actually later into the, in, into the uh, day, obviously because it's my birthday, if, uh, I've gone out uh, somewhere, quite obviously as you do uh, for your 13th birthday, as I quite obviously am a teenager now, so my attitude towards that after taking mushroom may change slightly, maybe slightly cocky, it may not, but uh, yeah, um, I'm not a person to be like that though really, so it probably won't. <laughs> Uh, yep, yeah. uh, what I was doing before, approximately six hours ago, yep, uh, I was doing the charging, wasn't I? So, uh, what you do is to charge previously, a couple of, well, when I previously did the videos, which was this morning, it's approximately 8 o'clock, I had the um, a skeletal back door with that of the external external USB cable and accessible throughout. Uh, this of the skeletal back door, and now I have because I've changed it. As you get an optional one with the GoPro itself. Uh, my next video video will be be a um, an in depth review of the uh, cameras. Uh, well, obviously that of the Fuji film, uh, the blue Fuji film, which I'm recording with now, which is uh, particularly adequate high uh, high definition. That of 10.4 megapixels in comparison to that of uh, 5 megapixels for this GoPro. Which is, that makes it, and uh, sorry guys, I can't get the words out. Uh, obviously, this makes the, um, in this advantageous uh, feat, it makes the food film better than that of the hero in that circumstance with the megapixel circumstance. I'm actually doing, uh, holding this on a Vivitar. Let's see if we can catch that. Let's get a tripod on a Vivitar tripod. But uh, many of you, <laughs> let me tell you take this out, may remember this camera, it's a very good camera indeed, but uh, obviously I can't review this one because the lens Sorry is about that. I accidentally uh, clicked the record button off, <sighs> um, inductionally and almost uh, entirely accidentally, it's particularly as quick as uh, yeah, this one has not an LCD touch screen but it has an LCD screen on the reverse which is a lot better than that of Hero which unfortunately has a disadvantage doesn't. Uh, has a uh, viewfinder, a lot more to it, buttons, well that has two buttons but to access, access the menus but not as good, 14.4 uh, megapixels which is uh, a lot better than these two uh, combined let's say, actually very much almost these two combined really because this has 10.4 uh, megapixels and that has exactly 5 so I'll make it a uh, 15.4 megapixels. Oh, sorry, 10.2 <laughs> megapixels, so I'll make a 5.2 megapixels. You just saw my face there for a second, which I didn't particularly mind at all. Has a flash on it, like so. More of an angularization, 26 times optical zoom, image stabilization, uh, general electric, 26 times wide aesthetic ED lens. Of uh, That's a 4.722 millimeter. Sorry, 122.2. General Electric are very accurate, accurate to their uh, surroundings and obviously their technological uh, inventions. Very, very accurate. It <laughs> goes to the decimal point of one. It decimalizes it to that of one, which is brilliant. Uh, yeah, and it says the aperture, which I'm not too X600. On the about section, it should say that. It's the first camera I had. Had it a year ago now. Uh, almost a year and a half ago for that of Christmas. Has a record button, obviously zoom in button. It zooms extremely far, it's very good. 122mm. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, when I get that fixed, I may do a view of comparison. Uh, well, yep. Yeah. And uh, I'm getting used to this camera because I thought I was going to break it at first, but now I can do it with almost entire ease. Just take that off, and that comes off like so. I'm obviously not going to do it now. Like so, and we snapped it. Uh, yeah, and I've actually attempted it on the mounts, and I'll give you a in-depth view on the next video, which may be after that the clodpedic. I'm not too particularly sure which one will be uploaded first. It's actually likely to be that the clodpedic because it is actually um one minute to that of three momentarily. I may be able to fit it in tonight, but I'm not too particularly sure. Uh, yeah, the charging it gives indication of the charge as a USB sign on there, as you can see there, and then charging symbol symbol there. And uh, yeah, the in-depth view uh, that will be of the um, the image uh, quality and uh, the adequate cinematography, photography, and videography of both cameras. Uh, and this will actually be just the uh, unboxing and a particularly brief review of that of the controls and setup and so on. 
and as you can see that I'm editing the video right this minute on Movie Maker. You can quite obviously see here. You guys are just uh, swap batteries, obviously, because the um the previous one. It's coming. It's coming. Can you see it's that? Coming. Quite obviously. There we are. My first. Just a quick check. What is this? <laughs> quite funny, really. But uh, and yeah, but you can see the camera itself posing. Here. Uh, particularly uh, now I'm just going to give you oh, sorry for that. access to that of the cameras. So what we're going to have to do is take that out of the schedule back there. You can see there. Uh, the computer now got something. It's particularly quick. USB to uh, Yeah, and it says a recognition of 1080p of that 30 frames per second in the recording mode of the camera. Uh, I've shot 14 videos so far that I'll show you futuristically. Four hours and seven minutes, that's the maximum charge, which it's not maximum charge, but uh, yeah, GoPro be a hero, quick capture mode and so on, video short press shutter, time lapse long press shutter, mm. yep, that gives some indication, that's the SD card there. Now, this is how you do it, okay, navigation, photograph. Uh, there's the burst, so it gives uh, 5 frames per second. If you don't know what that is, it means that it shoots 5 images per second. It's better to take a proper image, otherwise this may be blurry and inaccurate of the uh, angularization. I shot two of those, actually. Time-lapse, you just press it and it takes uh, a photo every 0 0.5 seconds, which makes it an adequate time-lapse. I have 9,999 on this of this SD card, which is a load of photos. Settings, uh, we will go ahead and click that. Resolution, spot meter, upside down. I'm not typically sure what that is. Let's have a look. Alright, yep, I think we want it up. I think I know what that means. Uh, quick capture, I'll have that on. It's a bit blurry, the macro is particularly inadequate. NTSC PAL, that's obviously the um, format of the video and format of the camera itself. LED both on, that means uh, obviously the LED tell you if it's recording or not. As it may do at people if you're actually like at a party or somewhere, a disco or something. Beeps 100%, a date and time, I've set that already. Th uh, 28th of the 3rd, this is American, so 28th of the 3rd of the 15th, but it says here 3rd of the 28th of the 15th, which is senseless in that of the United Kingdom. Uh, well, obviously, speech if you like. A two minutes past three, which is entirely accurate. As you can see, there. And you can see that there. So that's entirely accurate. Okay. Uh, delete, and you can exit the menu. But uh, here's the resolution. You can change the resolution. This is really bad, but I really want to show you this. Resolution 1080p 30, 720p S of 60 frames per second, which is the super wide angleization, and uh, 720p 60, which is very good. Uh, I'm just going to keep it 1080p. I don't know what the spot meter is actually. Sorry about that. <laughs> you have to keep going around, and then I'm going to go on spot meter. I'm not too particularly sure what that does, so I'm just going to leave that alone. And then to exit that, you just press exit and then press the top button and then record a video. And when you record a video like I'm, I'm going to do so now, this is what happens. The red LED comes on and it records and you can see how long you're recording for. And when you press it, it tells you how many videos you record, which is 15 in this aperture. And I actually might include this recording on there. <laughs> it's only two seconds long or slightly more or less than that, but yep. Yeah. Let's photograph, let's take a photo. Just wait until that, and that's done. Uh, burst. Thirteen. Time lapse. Taking one every zero point five seconds. Stop that. Uh, you get the settings, and that is pretty much it, guys. So, and you hold that. It's for approximately three or four seconds, depending on uh, the maximum USB capability of this, and it turns it off in as quickly as possible. And uh, it's slightly bulkier than that of the uh, GoPro 3, and uh, the disadvantage is that you can't take it out of its case, of its waterproof case, which is extremely unfortunate in this case. 
And, uh... Well, I'll do more of a view, uh, in the in-depth review, uh, part. So check that out on my channel. The link's not going to be in the description, it may be in the comment section below, depending if I have time to do so. But, uh, yeah, let me just show you. You can actually take this out. You need a screwdriver first because it's almost entirely fused by the manufacturer. And you can just take the adhesive mount up. And you can attach it to any of the mounts, which is brilliant. And then you just to attach it back on, you just do that. Ease it back in. Where's the hole? There it is. Uh, it is particularly hard. Okay, it's going to be... Alright, that's it. And you just wind it back up, like so. I've had a very, indeed, very much obviously happy birthday today, but, uh, as everybody does. But, uh, yeah, I'll continue editing this, and when I've done, I'll upload it to YouTube. And it's on YouTube now, is not it, quite obviously. So, in a bit...